Hello, this is Victor at HistoryMercedes.com. This video is for Doug in Virginia. And this is the S-Class throttle actuator here that I rebuilt. And I just want to make the video of the test. So, this is basically the test bench here. Okay, so this is about the speed I want it to be about this speed. So, um, it's been like that for about two days straight. So, the throttle is actually quite warm now if you can see the readings at celsius fahrenheit okay so we can see the readings are around 90s here even at uh, 100 as you can see 100 something so the room temperature is say like 67 so we're pretty warm here with the throttle see this is another unit that is stone cold and these are also active so as you can see, these also get, uh, they be, they, they're much warmer. So obviously, well, these have been tested as well. Now, <clears throat> this throttle actually, internals are actually very nice. So it doesn't seem to have that many miles to it. Uh, wires were completely destroyed. There was nothing left from wires, just bare copper, no insulation. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to reinstall the bolts because, again, this was just put back together for test purposes and uh, test is test is complete and everything is fine and it works great so what we're going to do next is we're going to look at the readings of the computer so now this is star diagnostic so we got uh, 4.24 on top which is great um 0 0.46 that's also fine it can range from 4.42 to 0.62 and that's about right uh, on off micro switches yeah sometimes they jump around that's a software that's not a throttle issue <clears throat> but uh, on off when the throttle is at idle and um, when we open the throttle plate readings will change and micro switch positioning will also change as you can see they went from on off to off on and that's fine and the readings on top as you can see the more I move the plate in and out the readings change accordingly so as you can see that works just fine i don't have a problem with this unit anymore so so far so good and basically this unit is ready to go uh, the previous video is uploaded for egas module test so you can see that egas module is also in working condition and this is how unit looks cleaned up well you can see it the gasket is gasket is left alone I left it alone because the gasket is actually okay and it's glued so I figured I'll leave it because it's not ripped or anything so you can actually re reuse it I would not recommend putting silicone around because that's going to be very difficult to clean off intake manifold so I'd rather have this gasket on the throttle so you can always clean it and reinstall a new one if you'd like so um, as you can see unit works very nice very fluid motion very light that's also important so there is no binding on the actual lever here it's just a bare motion of my finger and it already activates so um, this is a good unit I mean this is this is just fine I have no problems with it so um, a little spinner over here this is where the return spring goes and that's its uh, mounting point it spins well it's nice it's it's a good unit <clears throat> all right so this is basically going to be all and this is victor at restoreyourmercedes.com thank you for watching